Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. As most science fiction fans know, on January 20th, 2021, we lost Mira Furlan. If you're not aware, Mira was best known for her role as Delenn on Babylon 5. Now, if you've never watched Babylon 5, go and watch it right now. Honestly, pause this video, go binge all five seasons, and then come back to hear what I have to say. Your heart and your mind will love you for the rest of your life. As I record this, it's been a full five days since Mira's death. And the reason it's been this long coming is because, frankly, I've been trying to figure out what to say. If you're not a science fiction fan, you can kind of think of it the way one of my viewers suggested. Losing Mira was like losing a sports legend like Hank Aaron. Mira was a Croatian actress and singer. Internationally, she was best known for her roles as the Minbari Ambassador Delenn in Babylon 5 and as Danielle Russo in Lost. Mira died on January 20th at her home in Los Angeles. She was 65 and suffered from complications of West Nile virus in the time leading up to her death. But anyone can tell you that. The facts are easy to find. But I didn't know Mira. I can't say anything about her personally. In any case, J. Michael Straczynski, or JMS as he's known in fandom, has already written a really beautiful memoriam and it's linked to in my description box. I certainly suggest you go read it. All I knew about Mira was from her work, largely in Babylon 5, and that's all I can talk about. And in his memoriam, JMS suggested that fans fire up those special moments where she shook the heavens and relived the art that she brought to her work. Because for any actor, the best possible tribute is the work that will endure. So let me tell you a little bit about Mira's work on Babylon 5. Most fans know that Babylon 5 had a planned five-year story arc that JMS shared with no one, and that included the actors. Now imagine coming into any production not knowing your character's full backstory, nor where the ultimate story was going. As many of my viewers know, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I was once an actor. Now, I personally can't imagine the kind of handicap not knowing a character's full backstory or story arc might be. Sure, not knowing where the story is going is much like real life, but a TV production isn't real life. As my late great acting guru, Dr. William Morgan said, theater is planned, rehearsed spontaneity. Knowing where the story goes allows an actor to give more effective performance. They know what parts of a character to emphasize at any given time so that when character development happens, well, they can tug a little easier at the heart strings of the audience. But not knowing where you're going? I, I just can't imagine it. But Mira pulled it off. Delenn progressed from being a mysterious, sometimes mercurial figure who was pulling strings behind the scenes to a fully fleshed out female human being, or Minbari, whom the audience wanted to marry right along with Captain Sheridan. And along the way, Mira made Delenn frighteningly threatening, wonderfully loving, and a roaring leader, and sometimes a badass fighter. Few actors can pull off that kind of range, and fewer can still can do it without a clear understanding of where the character is going. But damn, Mira pulled it off. Because just last night, because yes, I am binging Babylon 5 with just about every other science fiction fan of the world. And I was watching a scene in which Delenn went to a seedy bar to secretly meet someone. Well, she was accosted by a drunken idiot who essentially threatened to rape her. Delenn smiled, seductively caressed his left finger until he reached the ring finger and then snapped it. <laughs> the man fell to the floor in screaming pain, screaming, you broke my finger. To which Delenn, now looking at him in contempt, quietly said, you still have nine more, so far. That's what Weirio was capable of, portraying seduction in the face of a potential rapist while breaking his finger and leaving him writhing on the floor. Few actors can pull that off. Mira did it on an episode by episode and sometimes minute by minute basis. So all I can talk about is Mira's extraordinary talent. However, talking isn't the same thing as experiencing, so go watch Babylon 5 for yourself. Fire up those special moments when she shook the heavens and relive the art that she brought to her work. For any actor, that is the best possible tribute for the work to endure. 
And that's all I have to say about that. I would certainly love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks. I'll do my best to respond. So thanks for watching. That's all the time that we have today for this episode of Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone.